Hello and welcome to the magnificent Oregon coast. I'm John Williams with another accessible adventure in the Pacific Northwest. This is the Hasita Head Lighthouse, and on a foggy day like today, you can understand why they need a lighthouse to keep the ships off the rocks. It's one of the most iconic and photographed scenes along the Pacific Coast Scenic Byway, where the forest meets the sea. But today, it's all about the hidden gems of the Sayuslaw National Forest. Our first hidden gem is just off the byway, the Oregon Dunes Day Use Area. This is truly where the forest floor meets the ocean shore. First thing you'll notice is an accessible viewing area next to the parking lot. From here, you'll see how the dunes take shape and are forever changing due to wind and other forces. Accessible restrooms and the Oregon Dunes Day Use Area. The Oregon Dunes Day Use Area is my choice to stop for a picnic. Follow me down this paved trail through the giant spruce trees where you'll find several accessible picnic sites. The United States Forest Service has provided a trail to and through the dunes. The trail is wheelchair accessible to the viewing deck. The Sayusla National Forest hosts field rangers all summer long who will share their knowledge of the geology, plants, and wildlife of this unique landscape. For the more mobile, you can walk through the dunes beyond this point. For hiking, my pick for this accessible adventure is the Silt Coos area and the Lagoon Loop Trail. The trailhead is just past the gate to the Lagoon Campground. Much of the trail through the wetland is accessible to wheelchairs. From this vantage point along the Lagoon Trail, sitting alongside the peaceful wetlands of the Silkoos River, you'll wonder who's watching whom. Frogs, herons, even a black bear can be seen. When your trip along the Pacific Coast Scenic Byway takes you to Reedsport, make sure you drop into the Oregon Dunes National Recreation Area Visitor Center. The friendly staff will answer all your questions about this part of the Sayusla National Forest. A few miles to the east of Reedsport on Highway 38, you'll marvel at the size and majesty of the inhabitants here. It's the Dean Creek Elk Viewing Area, managed by the Coos Bay District of the Bureau of Land Management. Finally, on this accessible adventure, we're at the mouth of the Umpqua River at the Umpqua River Lighthouse, managed by Douglas County Parks. And if it looks a lot like the Hasita Lighthouse, it's because they're built from the same plans. Since the mid-1800s, Oregon Coast Lighthouses have kept mariners off the rocks of the rugged Oregon shoreline. I'm on the viewing deck right across the street from the Umpqua River Lighthouse. It's a great place for taking pictures or doing a little whale watching, especially in the springtime. If you'd like detailed information about any of these sites, please go to the Sayusla National Forest website. Thanks for watching. I'm John Williams, and I'll see you soon for another accessible adventure. <laughs>